I hate to say it, but I think Annie's left her ugly mark on you. Amanda, this is not about Annie. Come on, you're talking to me, your sister. You can't deny it. Annie's hatred of Reva and Josh lives on through you when you should be focused on work instead of engaging yourself in some silly juvenile conspiracy theory about Michael and Josh. This from a person who is wonderful at organizing one's life. I have everything under control. Oh, really, you do? Why don't you tell me, then, where is Roger right now? I know where he is. I'll bet I know where he is. He's at the hospital, isn't he? Because Holly's having some surgery done. Yes, he's there to support all involved. Matt, Vanessa there, Chad, it's nothing to do with Holly. <laughs> Too bad the Brooklyn Bridge isn't for sale, Amanda. Oh, stop it, Alan. I am not worried one tiny, eensy-weensy bit about Roger and Holly. By this time next week, Roger and I will be in sunny California doing business, happily married to each other. You're gonna have to make a choice, Dad. I know. Well, what's it gonna be? Fighting Fletcher for mom or your lifelong dream of being on top at Spalding? Can't have it both ways. Yeah? And when did you get to be so smart? <laughs> Just when you weren't looking. Experience, huh? Oh, you might say that. Painful sky falling down in large chunks experience. I can't talk about this anymore. That's good, because, you know, there's nothing left to say except for the fact that you have to make a choice one way or the other. If you choose Mom, you lose Spalding. And if you choose Amanda, you've lost Mom for good. So I'm just asking you to think really hard about what you want before you turn Mom's life upside down. If you're just out to prove that you can take her away from Fletcher, don't do it. Ironic, isn't it? Everything I've always wanted, finally within my grasp. Only with two different people. I should have slammed the door in his face. Yes, you should have slammed the door in his face, but he's gone. He's gonna come back. The only way that this guy's gonna come between us is if we let him. I wish I never met him. Hey, listen, he gave you a beautiful, beautiful little girl. And he's gonna use Tammy to get to me. You know, I got a great idea. We hook him up with Dinah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. I can see that. Two snakes in a basket. I'd pay to see that. All right, you know what? I don't want to talk about her. I don't want to talk about him. You said the kids were outside in the snow? Yeah, they're snowboarding. Yeah? I think for a long time? Well, they really like snowboarding. They do? Yeah. Well. What are the chances of us, uh... Do you... you know, you said they were snowboarding. You said that. And your daddy does love him. I love him too, but he always goes away. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, can you help us set up for that slideshow? Yeah. yeah. Do I have to sing? <laughs> I need to sing. Oh, I, I won't forgot. sing. I forgot. <laughs> they have this family slideshow plan for Reva and Josh, huh? Yes. <laughs> I cannot wait until Mom and Daddy get here. Yeah, it's going to be go. so much fun. Oh, How's the fishing? 
Feel pretty good, I bet, huh? I, uh, I guess you know why I'm here. I lost her, Daddy. That's for real this time. I came here to tell Mara and Shane and Cassie. I don't know how I'm going to find the words. Reva was such a part of this place. So many things happened for us here. This was where we were the first time I kissed her. A place where we first made love, where we told each other we'd be together always. But that's gone now, Daddy. It's so. Uh, it's over. And that big old house you built over there, you know, that was supposed to be a place of healing, it, I don't think it's gonna stop the pain I'm feeling right now. I, I, I don't think it's gonna stop the pain that my children are gonna feel. When I bring them this news, this place, this Cross Creek, this will never be the same again. And the lives of those people in that house, they'll never be the same either. You know, I used to be afraid to die, Daddy. I used to be afraid to leave uh, Reva and, and the kids alone, but now, now I see that there's something that's so much worse than that, it, and that's being left behind. I know it's something that you, that you had to deal with when you lost Mama, and I'm just wondering, you, how did you cope? How, how did you, how did you just press on and, and go on with your life? I, oh, I wish you were here. I wish, I wish you were here right now to help me. And I wish I didn't have to do this. I wish there was another, another way. But there isn't, is there? I need, I need you, you. <laughs> I need your wisdom. Your, your strength more now than I ever have. If, if, uh, if there's any way, please, Daddy. Give me the words. Give me the words I need to tell these children this horrible thing, this thing that no, no child should ever have to hear. That their mother is dead. <laughs> 